Hey everybody, so if you're working with AI and LLMs, I wanna show you a really useful open source project that's gotten really popular recently called Docling, and it allows you to turn PDFs or other valuable formats of data into Markdown or JSON with a simple command or call from your application. Now, this is really important because language models are great at working with text, but typically your data isn't in plain text. It's in PDFs, manuals, annual reports, and specialized tables which aren't easy for an LLM to read. So instead of using just OCR or object recognition, Docling uses computer vision models to parse these documents. And from its own research paper, it comes within 5% of matching human ability to identify page elements. So let's test out its ability to convert PDFs and add it into a simple RAG application with Llama Index. So we're here at the Docling repository on GitHub where we can learn more about the project, which essentially allows us to take PDFs, PowerPoint, DocX, and other formats and convert this to a standardized Docling document representation to then export into JSON or Markdown to chunk it and use it with a RAG application or integrate it into your generative AI application as well. So what we're going to do is use the pip install Docling to actually install the CLI. So we'll do a pip install Docling. And I've already got it installed, so just like that, we can start using it from the command line. So let me go ahead and use it in Docling and pull in this specific research paper. So what is this? Well, it's an example of one of the models that's being used. And as you can see, it has tons of different types of formatted text that we're going to be able to convert, specifically this table right here. So let's head out of here and check out the result once this finishes up. Now I've opened this up for my local directory and it looks like it's done a pretty good job of converting this PDF into just plain Markdown, but I actually wanna check out some of the formatted stuff such as the base 64 images or the table that we wanna take a look at. So I scrolled down a little bit in the document and it looks like it's converted this table into Markdown format pretty effectively to now be able to use uh, with an AI model. Okay, so here we are with a pretty basic example of using Docklings document converter to pull in a URL or a uh, PDF path, whether it's local or remote, to use the document converter and export it to Markdown format. It's gonna take a few seconds per page of the report, but just like that, we've got the exported version right here in our Python notebook. This is a basic example. Let's go over to a RAG example of chunking in different parts of this exported Markdown into a RAG application. Okay, so I wanna show an example of integration into a RAG framework such as Llama Index. So here we've got a few different cells that I've started. First off, installing packages and dependencies in order to uh, essentially parse in a document. So first off, we're using Hugging Face in order to define two different models, one for embedding the document into different nodes, and then one also to provide the answer back. So we're, we're uh, gonna parse this specific paper again but now we're gonna ask a question, what are the main AI models that are used in this project? And so what we're gonna do is we're essentially going to define a RAG pipeline, uh, define the top Docling reader, and we're going to create an index. So we're going to load in the source data, transform this into nodes, uh, and let the embedding model process this into the vector database with Milvus. So just like that, we'll ask the question, hey, what AI models are in Docling? And we've got these two answers here. So we've taken a look at examples of how you can use Docling in your CLI or in your applications in order to process different types of file formats and get that information to be ready to use in an AI workflow. If you have any questions or want to learn more about the project, I highly recommend you head to the documentation to learn about different concepts, how it works, examples of what you can do, uh, such as context-aware chunking and integrations into other frameworks to actually use that data. Now, thanks so much for watching. That was Docling in about four minutes. I'm excited to see what you're going to build and have a great day. Bye.